Hey, my peeps. I hope you are all safe and healthy in crafting. Today, we're going to make some cotton candy. Just like these right here. These are, they look big, but they're pretty small. They're like, let's see. I want to say about like nine inches long and the puffy part is about four inches they're not really that big but they're definitely cute make great props for parties and things like that so let's let me tell you what you're gonna need so this easter Multicolor fluff comes from Hobby Lobby. I tried dyeing polyfill because I know everybody doesn't have a, uh, a Hobby Lobby. But dyeing polyfill, it didn't work um, because it needs like a special dye to be able to dye on like polyester and acrylic um, synthetics and stuff like that. But I did try for those people that don't have a Hobby Lobby so they can make this too. But around like Halloween time, when they put out that uh, spider webbing and things like that, be on the lookout because that's a good time to, you know, save up any uh, of the spider webs and things that you find because that makes good cotton candy too. So anyways, you're going to need this. This is pretty easy. You just need the um, the fluff, some paper straws, and a glue gun. I mean, if you want it to wrap it like this, you could use a, a treat bag. I got this treat bag from Dollar Tree, but I had to cut it down a little bit because it was kind of too long. But you just cut it down, and then you could tie it with a ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this fluff, and I know how it feels to not have a Hobby Lobby. I just had my Hobby Lobby for about a year now, and I was so excited when I finally got one. So the thing about this fluff is that I've seen people just take chunks of it and then like, try to wrap it on here and make it into a you know, like it's a cotton candy. But the trick to this thing is that it's it's been rolled up. So you kind of got to unravel it and try to find like the beginning. You just got to unravel it. And uh, it's like one big piece. Right? If you keep on unraveling this dress, you've got a pretty... A lot you can make I don't know four or five kind of candies out of this so what I do is once I stretch it out see it just like if you keep pulling on it it just keeps stretching and that's what you want because you want it to be really thin when you wrap it up this is a lot anyways so you take a piece Take a couple of pieces because you might need to wrap a couple of pieces. We'll see. You'll see how much. You can make it as big or as small as you want. So, with the first, what you want to do is you want to make it, like, really thin. Like, you want to stretch it out. Get rid of all these, like, thick areas and just stretch it out. Right? And you lay it down. You can always, like, once you, you'll see, but once you start gluing it, you could, you, uh, you could, um, like, work it to form the, uh, cotton candy. So for this color, I'm going to use this, like, a coordinating straw. So we're going to take a little bit of glue gun. I mean, a little bit of glue gun. A little bit of glue. 
just gonna get some glue and put right going towards the top oh come on all right so the one thing i wanted to tell you is that whatever you have under this make sure you don't care about it because this glue might get stuck on there so you're just going to take it put the glue side down and start rolling and this is just going to start going and you just roll it roll it just keep on rolling and now you got your first little layer so what i do is just like i take it and i start forming it you know push it up a little bit twist it you know till you get you see it's starting to form into i mean this, this is the first layer so it's not gonna look that good but just keep on going try to flatten this down as much as you can you could push it up a little bit squish it bring it down just squish it and start keep on forming it forming it i'm gonna have to go grab a glue stick of course So then, what you do, the same thing for the second go around. You take another piece. Let's take this piece. This is kind of big. So if that's, all you're, all you're doing is building on what's already there. Just take this. Make sure you get it out. See, it's kind of thick right there. Just stretch it out. Sure you lay it out flat so then you're gonna take your glue gun and just put another layer i mean a line of glue where you left off you know that end where you wrapped at the end right there then you're gonna take this and start rolling again kind of push it down but be careful you don't burn yourself with the glue gun why well, keep saying glue gun i mean glue stick and then you try to wrap it, like bring it up to the top a little bit. Like so it could have more cotton candy up at the top. And then you fluff it. Bring it up. Keep fluffing. I did like on mines, I did three layers of the cotton candy. But like I said, if you want it to be bigger or if you want it to be smaller, so you you decide how how many layers to put on it how thick you want it just try to because this kind of sticks to itself so just you know work it to the point where it just sticks to itself and it starts forming so we're gonna get another little bit stretch it out Now we're gonna, I'm going to try to build up at the top. I'm going to leave the bottom alone. Just got to work it a little bit. But if you see it start, it, it forms to the shape that you want. Looks like a cotton candy. So we're going to get some more glue, right? This was the end where I uh, did the last layer. So that's where I'm going to start putting. But I want to build up, so I'm going to go a little higher. I'm gonna go on this edge right here, lay down the glue gun. I keep saying glue gun, oh God. You know what, you guys know what I mean. And just keep building. Then you take it, form it. Push it up a little bit, bring it down. So one thing about it, you could just push it up, push it down, form it. You get you some white glue, like regular um, craft glue, which I didn't bring, of course. 
and lay the edges down so that they won't come up. But if you're going to put it in one of these bags, which I have one right here. I mean, we could go, we could add more. Let's just add a little bit more to the top. Like I said, you can build this as long, as tall, as thick, as fat, as small, whatever you want. You just build it. The more you add, the fatter and fluffier it's going to get. See that? Pretty easy. So, I'm going to show you this tiny one I did. this tiny one because I'm planning on make a like a fake cake and I just wanted a little kind of candy to put on into the cake but anyways we're gonna put this one in a bag so like I said the bag might be too big which it is you see how the size of the bag compared to the cotton candy is about the same size but we don't want it to you know let's see see that's not what we want so what I did was I put the cotton candy in there measure up to where I think I should cut get my scissor I think I want like that size take the cotton candy out cut the bag to the size I want using this sheer ribbon I don't, know, I don't remember where I got this sheer ribbon from but cut a little piece and let me tell you I am not the best at cutting ribbon I mean making bows is terrible I'm terrible at it really bad but I try I'm jealous of those people on those videos on YouTube that make all those pretty bows and I try. I'll watch that video a hundred times and still get it wrong. So what I do, take the cotton candy and I push it up a little bit. Push it up. Get the bag. Tie it. Well, hold it and twist it. Tie it. Uh, let's see how this <laughs> this bow comes out. I just do a regular, like I'm tying my shoes. I'm terrible at making bows. I'm not even going to lie. The worst. So, there you go. I mean, you know, you're probably better at making bows than me. But you get the point of it. And there's your cotton candy looking all cute. I think I should make another one just for show, right? So I'm going to make, this time I'm going to make, let's do green. So again, you're going to look for the roll where the beginning of the roll is and roll it out. It looked like they gave me an extra chunk there. Let's see. All right, here we go. You just want to open it up. That way you can maximize how many of these uh, cotton candies you can make. If you just take lumps and clumps of it, first of all, it's hard to get it to form into the cotton candy. And second... It's not going to look as cute because you didn't get to form it at the top. All right, now you stretch it out. Get as much as you can. So again, I'm going to break that down into two pieces. So I'm going to take this little piece right here and add it to it. And 
third piece in case we need that. So I'm gonna leave it to the side. So again, put that over there. Put my glue stick in. You're gonna get your paper straw, right? Just gonna take some glue, put it up at the top part. Take it to the edge. Be careful you don't burn yourself when you turn it. You're just gonna go hit that, put the glue part down onto the fluff and start twirling. Start twirling. Then you start pushing this into shape. You see it's kind of like a, not a real shape, but you gotta grab it, push it up and start shaping your candy your cotton candy there you go you see this part at the top it looks a little just take it and fold it over start forming it see that starting to form yes it's going to have parts sticking out but you're going to work that that's this is where we're going to put the next bit of glue so we can attach the second piece so there you go you see it's starting to form into a cotton candy Take your next piece, make sure you thin it out, get rid of all these. If you can see like, if it's not transparent, that means you gotta stretch it out a little bit. So these are the kind of colors that they be having around like Halloween time, you know, these fluorescent greens and purples and oranges and, and that's a good time to stock up and get your fluff. All right, so here we go. Here goes another layer. I'm gonna get this part right here. You see this part that's sticking out? Put the glue on top of that. Here you go. And take it, careful with the hot glue. Put it, glue down, start forming it. Be careful with the glue. Now you wanna bring it because you want your cotton candy to be just a little bit bigger at the top. So start forming it. Bring up the cotton candy to the top. Just form it, form it, form it. Bring it down a little bit. See your cotton candy is coming along. You can stretch it. If you don't like the bottom, the way it looks, just keep on fluffing it down. Squeeze it down. This is the back part where it ended. And we're gonna put the next layer on here. So don't worry about that. Just worry about how the front looks. It looks good at the front. You don't see anything sticking up. You form it, just keep squishing it. Form it. It's gonna be, a it's gonna come out just fine. So now we're gonna go back on this side. Put the last little bit. Stretch it out. Like I said, I put three layers on mine. So you could put four, you could put five, however many layers you want. Take the glue. Now we're gonna just try to close it out. So I'm gonna put glue in the middle. Uh, all right last layer stick the glue down pull it over remember stretch it out the way you want stretch this one is way bigger than the other one a little bit fatter form it Stretch it, take it to the top, squish it down a little bit. See this piece? You can use some regular old, let me go get it so I can show you. Some white uh, clear glue or craft glue.
like this glue. I got this from Dollar Tree. Just the clear glue. You can take like these ends that's sticking up like this. Just put a little bit of glue right here. Take it. Tighten it. Tight, tight, tight. And just hold it down. And uh, it's going to go into. It's going to lock it. Lock what I'm saying. Clue itself down. And then it, it might stick up a little bit, but you could just go back and reinforce that. So just. I mean, if there's another area, like, you feel that needs some to keep down, you could use, just use this. You won't see it. Not like the hot glue. You know, you'll see the thick hot glue through it. So, there you go. So, I got another bag here. I'm going to put it in there. Figure out where we want to cut. Which I think right here, good cutting spot. Cut it down. I'm going to just use this ribbon again. That's what I have right here. And it might look nice. Oh, what is it stuck to? Oh, to the end. It's about to be over for this ribbon. Cut it down. Cut this other end because it has something ugly on it. Put it back in the bag. Find your front. This is not your front. You see this? We could actually put some more glue on here. So you can hold that down. Okay, find your front. Look for the pretty part. Right? You'll find your front. Put that in the bag. See this? We're going to put this part in the bag. And that glue and all that other stuff will dry eventually. So what I do is I take my cotton candy, push it up a little bit on the stick, grab it. Then we're going to tie it with the ribbon. What did I do with the ribbon? Oh, Lord, what happened to the ribbon? Are you serious? Okay. Now, you saw me cut the ribbon, right? Don't know what happened to <laughs> it. But anyways, take it. You tie it. Like I said, I'm horrible at tying ribbons. You might be better. This is not my thing. Take it. You know, tie it. See how cool it looks already? Then you take it. Make the bow part. And you're ready to display it, to use it at parties, uh, pro as a party prop, as a picture, photographer, if you do photography, this is a great prop. Cut it off, make it look cute. Boom. Boom. Here you go, another cotton candy. Two cotton candies. Which we could do another one. But I think you guys got the point of this, right? So, I know that everyone doesn't have a Hobby Lobby. Like I said earlier, now I find the ribbon. <laughs> okay, so, I know everybody doesn't have a Hobby Lobby. Because I'm so excited that I finally got me a Hobby Lobby. It's been around for a year. And when I first found out that we were getting one I was like too happy so because I know that everyone doesn't have a Hobby Lobby I made two of these kits so in this kit there's enough to make one of each color cotton candy you have a straw for each cotton candy you have the bag to put your cotton candy in and I even put in 
some ribbon for the cotton candy. But I only have two. So I'm gonna do a little fun giveaway for two people, okay? All you have to do is type in the word. You know what? Just tell me what is your favorite flavor of cotton candy. I remember back in the day, the only flavor we had was that one. I don't even know if it was a flavor. What was it? Just spun sugar. It didn't have no flavor. It was just sweet. And you liked it as a kid because it melted in your mouth. So it was fun. But nowadays, cotton candies come in all kinds of flavors. Lemon, strawberry, watermelon. Any color you... I mean, any color. <laughs> any flavor you could think of. So anyways, let me know. What is your favorite flavor of cotton candy? And I'm gonna pick two people, random, two random people to receive one of these. Just because I know everyone doesn't have a Hobby Lobby and I want you guys to create, you know, these uh, pretty cotton candies. I mean, they're so cute and fun and so easy to do trying to reach for the other ones you know you can put them on your etsy shop you can use them for photo props like i said decorate for parties just to display them in your kitchen in your home whatever they're just fun so anyways if you like my video please hit like and subscribe to my channel i plan on having more videos coming out like at least every Monday have a different video coming out but once again if you want to possibly win one of these kits just let me know what is your favorite flavor of cotton candy and I'll talk to you guys next time in another video stay safe and God bless uh, I forgot to mention when the giveaway will be over I'll say by March by March 5th, I'm going to be picking a winner. I can't even talk. I'm going to be picking a winner, so I'm going to make a small, quick video showing the names of the people that won these kits. So thanks again. Good luck. Talk to you later. Bye. I uh, forgot to mention when the giveaway will be over. I'll say by March, by March 5th, I'm gonna, I'll meet. I'm going to be picking a winner. I can't even talk. I'm going to be picking a winner. So I'm going to make a small, quick video showing the names of the people that won these kits. So thanks again. Good luck. Talk to you later. Bye.